Good morning. Well, actually, technically two minutes into the afternoon. Good afternoon. I have my first proper gym session today. It's Saturday. Did a nice eight mile run this morning. I will share the statistics of the run here for everyone that wants to see what I did. Um, yeah, lovely run up at the plateau. Never been up there before. You have to drive up and park where people camp and ski, I guess, in the winter. And it's a lot higher than where we are here. So currently living at about 1800 meters. The conversion to feet is over here. Thanks, Daniel. So yeah, living at about 1800, 1850 meters here and the plateau is about 2200. So considerably higher and we noticed it. But I am gonna have my lunch, which I've kind of spoiled because we picked up some French bread and it's still warm and just, I may have eaten half the loaf. I am gonna try and have some lunch if there's any room left in my stomach, have a shower, and then I'm gonna take you with me to do my first proper gym session. Now I did one on Wednesday, but it was more of a mobility kind of rehab session. And today is gonna be my proper lift. So I thought it would be fun to mic me up for my strength session. Such fun! And just kind of talk you through what's going through my head, how much I am loving it because we all know that marathon runners love to lift weights in the gym. It'll be fun. Microphone. It's gym time. Hands up if you're thrilled to be going to the gym. This hell is a gym. No hands were raised. That is significant. Pre-workout steps. Ugh. Oh my god. <laughs> Good views though. Hopefully that picks me up. I'm gonna do my shoes up as well. Might help if I turn it on. Obvious. Red button, hold. Okay, now we're in business. All right, such a good stretch. Getting stared at already. The warm up. Oh, I'm sure I've got my sunglasses on in here. Blocking out the haters. And to stand up. You hate lunges. Lunges hate you. We're so in sync. I always feel really silly doing this one. It's called like, Put it on the shelf or something. Pick up the crates of chocolate milk. Put them on the top shelf. Pick them up again. Yes. Warm up done. Feeling uh, suitably self-conscious. Filming in the gym. Let's see what's on the menu. So I've got all my rehab exercises. So split starts, RDL, three times eight. And it says to increase the loading once you have good form, which I have started to do. I might not do all of those today because I also have other deadlifts and quite a bit of hamstring stuff. So we'll see. My other rehab exercises are hip hinge, straight arm overhead lift which is, is this one? Cable banded hip pivots and side lying banded leg lift, which is like with a band and burning the pocket, we like to say. So I'll do those afterwards. We've got three supersets today. First up is trap bar deadlift, three times eight, and that's followed by three point plank for 30 seconds each. So basically only one, one of four limbs is off the ground for a plank each time. So that adds up to two minutes because you take one arm back, the other arm back, and then each foot as well. So that's superset A. Superset B is barbell hip thrust, three times eight, and a Lechner band braced. I will show what that is rather than describe it. And then superset C is reverse lunge, three times 10, TBC. We'll see about that one because my glute has been a bit iffy and if it hurts, there's no point doing it. And then hamstring curl with the Swiss ball. Guess there's no more procrastinating to be done. Just need to go and lift some weights. <laughs> Well, we won't be starting with trap bar deadlifts then because it's now in use. You hate it when you go to the gym and someone's using the one bit of equipment that you want, like the first exercise you're gonna do. Oh well, we'll just have to wait. Perhaps we'll go CBA instead of ABC. CBA, because I- CBA to do gym. Just kidding, happy to be here. So I'm gonna start off with trap bar. Yeah, and just like pretend you're like trying to shut a car door with your butt. It's quite an inconvenient place to use that box. Easy. How much is this bar? 20, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I'm really missing having a mirror in front of me to make sure that I am straight enough. Now I've lost count. That feels like about eight. 
gonna move this box out of the way. Sit here. Someone hasn't been inflating these balls. Oh, these kill my hamstrings so much. Up. There she is. Knees getting nice and strong. Pump it. I'm gonna attempt to film at this angle. My glute feels really good, so I'm actually really happy. Because, no, 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 no. <laughs> As in, in the lunges, like, because I've been doing these the last couple of weeks. My glutes really not enjoyed these. So I'm hoping it's like definitely getting better. It's one of those weird ones, because like I don't feel it when I'm running, but if I do something stupid, like lunges. <laughs> getting wobbly. I'm sweating. Who knew doing the gym at altitude was also harder? Cause less oxygen. Hmm, this is making sense. Set C down. I'm now gonna go set A and then set B because I'm paranoid that someone's gonna steal the trap bar because it is a highly demanded piece of kit. Warm up reps with 10 kilos on either side, which I think is 40 kilos. Quick mess. Trail shoes in gear. Let's go get some fives. I am not feeling so strong today, that's okay. It's been about a week since I gymmed. It's really annoying that there's no like claspy things to go on the end of this bar. I look like an absolute mad woman just talking to myself. Oh, God. oh dear. I'm really paranoid this is gonna fall off. It feels so hard today. How much weight is this bar? I'm slightly hoping it's 30 kilos so that I'm actually not this weak. If they got scales, maybe I'll weigh myself without the bar and then with the bar. <laughs> this is my last set. I'm kind of regretting putting the fives on. I've committed to it now. I am strong. I am so strong. I feel like I've made a massive mistake because I did all of my trap bar deadlifts not as a superset, just as a set. As in like alternating between trap bar plank, trap bar plank. And now I have to do three sets of three point plank. <laughs> I think she asked me if I was finished with the bar and I said, oui. Just call me fluent in French at this point. <laughs> um, this is one of the core exercises. Yeah, there's another one. Does it involve arm strength? <laughs> A little bit. Prepare yourself for pain. I usually start off with the arms because I feel like the arms are harder than the legs. So, it's really hard. And then the more tired you get, the more squiff you get and you end up like opening up like this, but you've got to try and pretend your arm is there. How long do we do right? this for? 30 seconds each one. I've got nine left. And then switch. I like to sing songs in my head to myself when I do this one. Every little thing it's is gonna, gonna be all right. <laughs> I'm gonna get through this. I'm gonna get through this. Arms down, leg up. You're over halfway. <laughs> Tell yourself it is your thing until you believe it. Okay, 15 seconds until you can literally become a puddle on the floor. And then we go again twice. <laughs> Three, two, one. <sighs> Oh, my heart rate. See, my heart rate's only 56. 56? But I feel like I'm dying. Yeah, proper rips, rips you here. I feel like I'm opening up, like down the middle and outwards like this. Like a transformer. A transformer that just doesn't transform. Are you ready for the hurt? Three, two, one, go. <laughs> I wish I was on the elliptical like Sally. I'm jealous. Imagine being jealous of someone on the elliptical. Imagine that, because this is worse. Shrek. Shrek is my icon after all. Switch. What? Uh, five seconds to switch. Oh, this is so humbling. Switch. Do you why this is so bad? Why if I'd have done it as a superset, it would have been so much better. Three, two, one. Oh, I love that exercise. It makes me feel so strong. There are some serious weightlifters in here. It's quite intimidating. Are you bulking? I might go and get some fives. I think I was up to like 75 at home, but I just don't need to be doing that much. You know, I am pretty strong, so get some fives. Make it a bit harder for myself. I've got a great view of your crotch from here. <laughs> Amazing how quickly not doing core, like for a week, just makes you feel like a little jelly on a plate. Into the next one. Whenever I do hip thrusts, I always think of a video I saw of Emma Raducanu thrusting like enough weight that the plates like nearly didn't fit on the bar. Probably like 200 kilos or something ridiculous like that. Just about lifting my own body weight. Come on! Okay, now my heart rate's 81. Still not that high. It definitely is real exercise. Need brown, un unpopular opinion. The gym is not real exercise. Squeeze the bar. 
Save the easiest bit till last. Should just do this at the start. Alas, here we are. That's a really terrible angle, Philly. I'm sincerely regretting not bringing my green band because this blue band is a lot worse. Owie, owie, hearty. I can do hard things. And this isn't even that hard, come on. Love the band exercises. See, that's the cool thing about Love the Grind, is you can just you can trade in any word. Love the grind, love the gym, love the run, love the grind. Oh no, I've lost count. French people make some weird noises at the gym. There's a guy roaring over there. <coughs> Whatever helps you. Okay, bands are done. Mark legs. Let's do the, the hip hinge thingy majiggy. My cue for that one is to stick my tail feather out. Hopefully it looked like I was doing that. It's, um, it's for my back. Working on my weaknesses. It's a good job I can't understand French because I have a feeling some people are laughing at me. These are my hip pivot, cable banded pivot things for my glute. I don't normally talk while I'm doing these. And now I've lost count. I'll do it till it feels like 12. Yeah, that feels about right. Switcheroo. Kind of hard to position myself, right? The balance, tilt in and out. We'll call that 12. Right, I'm trying to convince Neve to come and do a pull-up. <laughs> She's not feeling so up for it. You've got to do a celebratory pull-up at the end of a gym session, or at least attempt, right? I'm going to give it a go. Last time I did a pull-up was in St. Moritz <clears throat> in April. I'm going to do it. First, I've got to actually figure out how to get up here. How do people do this? This is proving harder than first anticipated. This is the target. Oh, it's a bit slippy. Yes! Should I can do two? Nope. <laughs> One's enough. Yeah. Watch out, I'm a weightlifter next week. I'm telling you. Big muscles. This is me. This diagram here. Yes! <laughs> go, 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 go! Okay, that's, this is going to be our mission. At the end of this training camp, Neve is going to be able to do a single pull-up. I think I've embarrassed myself enough. Let's go! And that was Jim. I am going to have protein shake now because recovery is key and I also packed just enough protein that I can have one of these after every gym session and after every session and long run so waste not want not I have got a long run tomorrow so I'm hoping that I'm not too sore. I shouldn't be, I didn't lift crazy heavy and that's a pretty typical session for me. A few people have asked what I do at the gym. There you have it. Uh, it does vary a little bit. Sometimes I'll have squats in there. Sometimes I'll do a few plyometrics, jumping on the box. Yeah, I was doing cleans in the summer, not anymore. Tends to just be a little bit less in marathon training season. I just bring down the weight and I kind of bring down the variation a little bit and just keep the core movements in, which is pretty much what I did today. So, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if I did any of your favorite exercises or if you have any other favorite running exercises that you like to do in the gym, let me know. And uh, yeah, love the grind.